Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now today we're going to be taking a look to see how the iPhone 11 has handled the latest iOS 14 release, iOS 14.3, Developer Beta 3. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Now taking a look at performance, just as expected from a one-year-old iPhone, performance on iOS 14.3 Beta 3 is perfectly fine. Everything from opening up simple everyday apps to playing intensive games all perform fantastically. There's been a noticeable increase in overall performance in this release of iOS 14, more specifically iOS 14.3, although there haven't been any decreases either. Now animations have of course been great. All system animations from swiping home or pulling down the notification or control centers to opening and closing apps or quickly switching between open apps are all incredibly smooth. Unlike other iPhones, the iPhone 11 does not seem to suffer from the app library or widgets page stuttering. Now let me know how overall performance, RAM management, and or animations have been for you down below. Now, now battery life, that's where it gets interesting. Now before I get into battery as always, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone 11 is in fact running off of a maximum battery capacity of 100%. Believe it or not, three days ago actually marked 11 full months of maintaining that 100% capacity on this iPhone 11. But anyway, very much like the iPhone SE first generation, the battery life has taken a hit with this release of iOS 14.3. With iOS 14, the iPhone 11's on-screen time was significantly reduced and has yet to be fixed. Now nothing has changed in terms of on-screen time with iOS 14.3 Beta 3. Now in my experience, it's the same as iOS 14.2, 14.1, or any previous release of iOS 14. Standby time is what just took the blow. Now with iOS 14.3 Beta 3, I've noticed an incredible battery drain when running off of standby. I'm seeing around a 20% loss overnight. Now this is really, really bad, especially for an iPhone like the iPhone 11, and I really think Apple needs to get right on top of this. Now of course, of course, that brings us to overheating. The iPhone 11 luckily does not suffer from any major overheating issues on iOS 14.3 Beta 3, however, I have noticed that the iPhone does get slightly warm during use. Now it does not last very long, and again, it only gets slightly warm, so nothing to be concerned about. Now iOS 14.3 Beta 3 was super small, I mean around 180 megabytes or so on my iPhone 11 coming from Beta 2. This update only brings bug fixes and improvements, but it sure breaks standby battery. Everything else from RAM management to overheating seems left untouched, which is a positive for now. Now that leads us to the main question of should you update? Simply put, no. My answer is no. Unless your iPhone 11 is a secondary device or you have one that's just lying around, there's really no reason to install this beta firmware on it. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video, now if you do have any questions or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Now also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.